Hello everyone, hope you're having a glorious day. Where do we go when we die? This is a question on everyone's mind at some point. This weekend I was asked to think about heaven at a small group gathering. The question we were asked was, how would you be changed on earth if you spent 10 minutes in heaven. With this question in my mind, I was immediately drawn to a near-death experience I had in November of 2013. As I reflected on the events surrounding that, I remembered heaven. Heaven is where God dwells in His magnificent glory. And it would not take 10 minutes to understand how set apart an other category God is from any earthly experience. See, the heavenly realm is without time. So from an earthly perspective, when I was ill in the hospital, I was in a coma for six days. But when I awoke from the coma, it seemed that I was only out for maybe a couple of hours. As for how heaven would change me, well, in the presence of God, I would fall at His feet to the overwhelming glory of His presence. It is immediately understood that my heart, that my desires are so apart and different from the purity and love and acceptance penetrating every fiber of my being like the warmth of the sun. While I realize how unworthy I am of such a complete love, I simultaneously desire God's love for everyone, even an enemy, so they would not miss out on the full extent and measure of something that feels like the most warm acceptance and embrace, being fully known, everything about you and all your innermost thoughts and completely loved with the only breath that I have left inside I would utter I'm sorry sadly most people believe they can earn God's love by working in this world with good deeds many asked Jesus what must I do to inherit eternal life. In other words, what must I do to earn this type of unspeakable love and acceptance? His answer was quite surprising. He said, trust in the one God has sent, His Son, Jesus. If it is that simple, what's the point of obeying the Ten Commandments or doing good deeds? When we trust in the act of love He did for us, we have an attitude of being grateful for His love. The reward is a relationship with God by knowing His Son. Obviously, trusting and loving Jesus compels us to want to obey Him and do what He asks. Imagine for a moment you had cancer. You were visited by a man who invented the cure. It cost him $7 billion to make this miracle treatment. He wanted to give it to you. You asked him, what do I need to do to get this treatment? And he said, come work for me in my factory after you feel well. Of course, you agreed and working a lifetime at this factory producing this miracle cancer treatment you didn't make a dent in the seven billion dollars it cost to make the treatment. So many of your family members were also cured by this treatment. You gladly went to work and served every day in his factory. When you were old and you could no longer work anymore, you went to the owner of the family business and said, I cannot pay the rest of the debt. I still owe you a little under a seven billion dollars. Now imagine this from the perspective of the owner of the cancer treatment factory. 
The business owner you owe $7 billion to you says to you, do you remember when I first met you? You were throwing a rock into our window because you were so mad at having cancer and thought our family business should do something about it. That is when I spent the $7 billion to develop your treatment. We went to so many hospitals looking for a blood donor that have the perfect match for you to develop this cure. You may have forgotten this, but the only person I could find who was a perfect match was my own son. I knew we needed so much of his blood to develop this cure, he would die in the process if we took it from him to develop the cure for you and your family and so many of your friends. This business is a family business. Everything I had, I was gonna give to my son. And because I gave him up to save you, you are my family. I am canceling all of your debt. If we think about our attitude toward heaven, the reward should be knowing and serving God who created and loved us in the first place. If that is not something you want to do here on earth, why would you desire a relationship serving God for all eternity? I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to talking more the next time.